Hello and welcome to April's edition of This is Science, ChicagoParent.com's monthly series in which we do a science experiment or demonstration that you can do at home with your kids. I'm Carrie Kaufman and today we're going to learn about the concepts of transpiration and cohesion. What does that mean? That means we're going to turn flowers different colors. Now we're here with Richa Betty, who is a PhD from the University of Illinois, Chicago, uh, a research scientist at one of the pharmaceutical companies here, and she's a mother of two, yeah. and very excited about teaching kids science. Uh, and what, from what I understand, Richa, uh, when we, um, uh, the way that, that liquid travels up the, a plant stem, mm -hmm. any sort of plant mm -hmm. stem, is the same way that it travels up a straw when we're drinking something. Exactly. And when we're drinking something like grape juice or um, cherry Kool-Aid, uh, then our tongue is going to get red. And then in that same way, uh, when the water, when the plant drinks uh, red water or purple water, then the flowers themselves are going to get red and purple. Is that correct? Yes, you're okay. exactly right. Great. Plants have a drinking problem, and in this case, it's a good <laughs> problem. <laughs> okay. So we have flowers. We have flowers. Okay. White daisies or carnation work the best. Okay. Try to make sure that the flowers are open flowers, they are not buds. Okay. And you need shears, mm -hmm. you need food coloring, mm -hmm. and you need containers to keep the um, flowers. Okay. You need to use warm water for this experiment mm -hmm. because the warm water is taken up more easily as compared to the cold water. Okay, good, okay. So we'll do that. And um, do not use the, the preservative which you get in the, with the flowers, do not okay. use that because that would impact the taking up of the water, of okay. the color. So Good to know. do not use that. So okay. for this, first you would take, take the flower, the stem of the flower, and I want you to cut it in a slant way. You take the warm water in the container, and you're using about half cup of water and about 20 to 30 drops mm -hmm. by approximation. And this experiment would take about four hours to 24 hours to complete. Okay, so it's not going to instantly turn your colors red yes, and green yes. and purple or blue. It will take a while because plants have to drink and it has to go through the whole process. You will put the stems which you have cut mm -hmm. into the water mm -hmm. and let it sit. Okay, and the, the way this is coming up mm -hmm. is that it's got, there's little tubes like this. Yes, yes. In the flowers. Yes. Okay. And uh, before we... Um, small, little tubes that you have to use a microscope for. So I can show you what happens when you put a paper towel because that's how it will absorb water. Okay. So over here I've just taken a paper towel and, and it's absorbing. And what you're telling me is that in this paper towel microscopically are tiny little tubes yes. that are pulling Fibers. the water up. Exactly. And again by cohesion the like molecules are attracting like molecules so the colored water is making the other water go up. If you want to get fancy about it you can cut the stem in half. So what we are doing is we are cutting the stem longitudinally okay. and you can put them ah. in the watercolor. So what okay. will happen is half of the um, plant flowers are going to turn red and half are going to turn blue. Excellent. Yes. Okay. And as you see, these flowers have turned blue. Mm -hmm. And I would like you to see, Carrie, over here, from the stem all the way to the leaves, to the, everything yes. is blue because the water has been taken up, Excellent. just like you said in the straw. And over here, you see this flower has turned beautiful red that and you good. guys can do it at home. And so is over here yellow and I tried to get fancy and over here you see the flower has turned red and blue. So this is the flower that is split yes. and one was in a red uh, uh, watercolor and exactly. one was in a, a blue watercolor. Okay, great. Yes. So the two processes which are going on here are transpiration and cohesion. Mm -hmm. So transpiration is a process of evaporation of water through the plant parts, be it the petals, sepals, the stem, so this is just like the way you sweat. So what happens when you're sweating? I, a lot of water comes out of my body mm -hmm. and then I have to drink water to replace it. Great. So this is the same process which is happening in the flowers. Mm -hmm. When the flowers are evaporating, this is a mechanism for them to cool down. So what we've learned today is that water comes up through plants just like it does through straws. We've also learned that you have to be mindful of what you put into your plants just as you have to be mindful of what you put into your body. And the last thing we've learned is that when you're doing science experiments, it's perfectly okay to stick out your tongue. This is Carrie Kaufman for This is Science.